everyone, today's it is about when you take a terrible blow for him. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And let's get going. You and Bakugo had been through a lot together. As lovers, your bond was strong. Forced through countless battles and shared victories. However, nothing could have prepared you for the moment. When you had to take a terrible blow for him, it was a routine training exercise that you ate, but something had gone awry. A found squirk had unexpectedly manifested, hurling deadly projectiles at Bakugo and the rest of the class. In the chaos, you saw a projectile heading straight for him, and without a second thought, you leaped in front of him, taking the full force of the attack. Bakugo's eyes widened in horror as he watched you fall to the ground, blood staining your uniform. Moyan, he shouted, rushing to your side. You winced in pain, clutching your side where the blow had taken you. I'm okay. You managed to choke out through the pain, but it was exuriating. No, you're not okay. Baku's voice cracked with emotion as he gently lifted you into his arms. We need to get you to recover, girl. And now. As he carried you to safety, you couldn't tell but marvel at the fear in his eyes. Bakugo, the explosive and brash hero, was always so fiercely protective of you. It was moments like these that reminded you of just how much he cared. In the infirmary, Recover Girl worked tirelessly to heal your wounds, while Bakugo hovered anxiously by your side. When you finally regained consciousness, his relief was palpable. You idiot, Bakugo muttered, his voice thick with emotion. Why did you do that? He reached out to gently cup his cheek, offering him a weak smile. Because I couldn't bear to see anything happen to you. He replied softly. I'd take a hundred blows if it meant keeping you safe. Baku's expression softened, and he leaned in to press a gentle kiss to your forehead. You're too damn brave for your own good. He murmured his voice barely above whisper. But I wouldn't have it any other way. As you lay there, wrapped in Baku's embrace, he knew that no matter what trials lay ahead, he would always be there for each other. For in the world of heroes and villains, love was the most powerful force of all. Days passed, and you slowly recovered from your injuries, but the memory of that moment lingered in both your minds. Bakugo was more protective than ever hardly leaving your side, during training sessions, and keeping a watchful eye on you at all times. One evening, as you sat together in your dorm room, Bakugo broke the silence that had settled between you since the incident. Why on? He began, his voice low and serious. I need to talk to you about what happened. He turned to face him, noting the tension in his expression. What is it, Katsuki? He took a deep breath, his gaze never leaving yours. I can't lose you. He confessed, his voice barely a whisper. I can't bear the thought of anything happening to you because of me. He reached out to take his hand, giving it a reassuring squeeze. Hey, look at me. He said softly. What happened? It wasn't your fault. It was just a freak accident. Baku's grip tightened around yours, his eyes filled with a mixture of guilt and longing. I know, but I can't help but feel responsible. Me rest your life for me, and I, I don't know what I would do if I lost you. You pulled him into a tight embrace, resting your head against his chest. But you won't lose me, Katsuki. You whispered, your voice filled with conviction. We're in this together, remember? Through so thick and thin. He wrapped his arms around you, holding you close as if he never wanted to let you go. Yeah. He murmured, his voice rough with emotion. Together. From that moment on, you both made a sound vow to protect each other no matter what. Whether it was facing villains or navigating the challenges of everyday life, you knew that as long as you had each other, you could overcome anything. As the days turned into weeks, 
and the weeks into months, your bond only grows stronger. And together, you face the trials and tribulations of your life, knowing that as long as you had each other's backs, nothing could tear you apart. And so, you continued to fight side by side, facing whatever challenges came your way, with unwavering determination, and a load that burned brighter than any explosion. As time went on, the instant served as a reminder of the fragility of life and the importance of cherishing every moment together. You and Bakugo found solace in each other's presence, leaning on one another for support during both the good times and the bad ones. But despite the newfound closeness, there were still moments of doubt and fear lingering in the back of both of your minds. The realization that your lives were constantly on the line as heroes weighed heavily on your hearts. One night, unable to sleep, you found yourself staring out the window. Lost in thought, Bakugo, sensing your restlessness, grabbed his arms around you from behind, pulling you close to him. What's on your mind? He whispered, his breath warm against your ear. You sighed, leaning back into his embrace. Just everything. You admit it. The danger we face every day. The possibility of losing each other. It's terrifying, Katsuki. Bakugo rested his head on your shoulder, his grip tightening around you protectively. I know, he murmured. But we can't let fear control us. We're heroes, damn it. And we're supposed to face danger head on, together. You nodded, feeling a sense of reassurance wash over you. At his words, Yeah, you're right. We're supposed to face it head on, and together. He said softly, As long as we have each other, we can get through anything. In that moment, you both made a silent vow to live each day to the fullest and to cherish every moment together. After all, you were never going to let the fear hold you back from being the heroes that you were meant to be. And so, with Bakugo by your side every step of the way, you faced each new day with courage and determination, knowing that he was going to have your back and that you were going to have his as well. For, in a world that was filled with uncertainty, your love was the one constant that you could always rely on, Bakugo's love and yours. Well, anyway, you were going to have his back as long as you had yours, and you were going to protect each other from everything. Thank you guys for listening. Hope you like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and goodbye.